In the last lecture, we learned about host listener decorator in Angular and we learned that the host listener decorator is used to listen to an event on the host element and when that event happens on the host element, it executes an event handler method. Now in this lecture, let's talk about host binding decorator in Angular. The host binding decorator binds a host elements property to a variable in a directive or a component class. Let's understand this with an example. For that, let's go ahead and let's create a new directive. So for that, let's use ng generate command and we want to generate a directive and let's call this directive maybe better highlight. Now you can call this directive anything. All right, let's press enter. So this better highlight directive has been created. If I expand this app folder in the custom directives, we should have a better highlight directive. Let's delete this spec.ts file. All right. Now let's go to this better highlight directive class. And again, in the constructor, we will receive the host element on which we will use this directive as well as we will receive an instance of the renderer to class. So let's specify the names here. So let's call the first parameter as element. It is going to be of type element ref. And then let's call the second parameter renderer. Okay. It is going to be of type renderer2. All right. Now let's also use private keyword in front of these parameters so that behind the scenes a private property with that name will be created for this class now let's create a property for this better highlight directive class and let's call this property background it is going to be of type string and initially let's assign it with the value transparent okay now on this property, let's use host binding decorator. Okay, and in order to use this host binding decorator, we also need to import it from Angular Co. And to this host binding decorator, we can specify an HTML property. So for example, what we want is we want to assign this background property of this better highlight directive class with the style dot background property of HTML element. Okay, so let's specify that property here. Okay, so here what will happen is when we will use this directive on an HTML element, let's say when we use it on this div element, then this div element will have a style dot background property, right? And that property will be assigned to this background property of this better highlight directive class. And then we are setting the value of this background property to transparent. So internally, this transparent will be set as a value for this style dot background property of the host element. Let's see that. Let's go ahead and let's use this selector of this better highlight directive on a div element. So let me first create a new div here and let's remove these two, you know, directives from this div element and let's add this class on this div element. And here we are learning about host binding. So let's specify that here. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's use this better highlight directive on this third div. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice the background of this div is transparent because that's the value we have assigned to this background property. So internally, that value will also get assigned to the style dot background of the host element. Now, if I set it to yellow, let's see what happens. If I go to the web page, now you can see the background color of that div has been set to yellow. In the same way, if we set it to something else, maybe pink, then that value will be used as the background color. 
all right now instead of doing it like this what we want is we want to set the background color to pink whenever the user hover over on this div element okay so when the mouse enter event will happen on this div element and we want to change the background color back to transparent when the mouse leave event will happen so let's implement that logic and we can implement that logic using host listener so let's use this host listener decorator here okay and this host listener should be listening to mouse enter event and when this mouse enter event happens we want to call a method let's call it mouse enter okay you can call this method anything and inside this we want to set this background property to pink okay and let's keep the initial value as transparent in the same way let's also handle mouse leave event on the host element so here we want to handle mouse leave event and let's call this event handler method mouse leave and when the mouse leave event will happen we want to set the background color back to transparent so let me copy this value from here let's use it here okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now initially the background color of this third div is transparent when i hover over it it's changing back to pink and when i move my mouse away from this div it is getting set back to transparent okay so here using this host binding we are binding the property of the directive class with the property of the html element and in this way you can set any property of the html element for example let's see another use case so now i want to set the border of the host element okay and let's call this property maybe border okay and initially let's set the value of this border property to none now what we want is when this mouse enter event happens we want to set this border property okay so let's say the border should be let's say red two pixel and solid okay and when this mouse leave event happens we want to set this border property to none okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page now when i hover over this div element you will see that the background color as well as the border is being set for that div element and when i move my mouse away from this div then its background color is changing back to transparent and border has also been removed okay so this host binding decorator binds the host elements property to a variable in the directive or the component class this is all from this lecture if you have any question then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day